Hello, welcome to 50 subscribers. Um, this is my video for achieving uh, 50 subscribers. Uh, not that subscriptions matter necessarily. Uh, it's just uh, I thought it was an important milestone, so I thought I'd celebrate it with a video showing you how I uh, do things. I use Virtual Dub for all my editing purposes. Uh, recording, I use Fraps. Um, yeah, you can see it right in the corner. It's recording. Um, yeah, so here I'm going to show you how I load the files. This is where all my movies are saved in a Fraps folder. A lot of them are old, just in case um, I make a mistake. You can see Torchlight there, Dawn of War from forever ago, and just recently League of Legends. And now uh, my desktop, which I'm recording right now, so you can't see a thumbnail. Um, so yeah, if I wanted to edit, say, League of Legends, which I just did, um, I'd click this and click open. Uh, you can only select one file at a time. What you then have to do is uh, append uh, that file with another. So I'd select the second one and click open. Um, it's kind of a pain because, as you might have guessed, I made a blunder earlier this week where I, uh, or maybe I think it last week actually, um, where the files went um, out of order and made a jump cut back to like another file. So instead of going from here to here, it went from here to here again. Um, yeah, not what I wanted. Uh, so it's kind of a pain. I've been lucky enough that that's my only mistake so far. Uh, it hasn't happened before, which I've been kind of lucky at. Um, so yeah, I just have to append file after file after file. Um, I size this uh, window up so that I can see um, a lot of videos up and down. So usually the videos take up the whole space and I can kind of keep track which row I'm on. And I keep it five across so I can count on my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then second row, one, two, three, four, five. It's very rudimentary. It's not the best solution, but it's the best solution I have. Um, I just don't know of any way to import multiple clips into Virtual Dub. It just doesn't have that option, as far as I know, which is kind of sad. Um, so yeah, here I have already have a project that's got all my videos loaded, and yeah, from beginning to end. What I do then is I go to Video, Compression, click on XVID, and I just keep uh, the default uh, settings there. I found out 4 does work the best um, for quality. Um, yeah, I, I got the XVID codex. You can find it online and just install it. Virtual Dub, it's also free. Um, so yeah, the only thing you have to really pay for is fraps and possibly uh, a hard drive that you want to record on. Um, so yeah, and then you uh, edit it here. Uh, I don't do too much editing. I try to keep it light, uh, obviously. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, you'll notice that I keep my segments down to uh, 10 minutes and 30 segments. And you'll notice when I hit 10 minutes and 30 se seconds right here. Right here. That's the time code. And this is the frame number. 18,900. I'll go up here after I've chosen my compression uh, to save segmented AVI and I'll say League of Legends Warwick. Let's just call him Earth actually. So I'll say save. Uh, you'll notice don't run this job now, add it to job control so I can run it in batch mode where you can do multiple files all at once and schedule it at a time of your convenience. Also, limit number of video frames per segment to 18,900. I don't want to limit it in size, so I set it for the maximum. Just It'll set to whatever it reaches with 18,900. And so I click Save. I'll then go to uh, Job Control when I want to do this. Uh, see, I have the old one and my new one waiting right here. Um, and then when I want to, I can just hit Start. However, if I want to reload an old segment, I can just say, let's say um, I really goofed on Torchlight um, from 
Yeah, Torchlight 60 or something. This was the one where I goofed on. So I can reload it. See what happened. And then here's the corrected one. You might notice no difference because that's the beginning of the one. But I can reload old projects. Oh wait, I deleted those files. Oops. But yeah, um, I can load these projects if there's ever an error. And when I want to, I just click start, walk away from my computer for about two hours, and it's done. Um, so yeah, that's how I do it. There is one problem with this. Virtual Dub only outputs in AVI. So if you look at YouTube's uh, optimization tips, uh, they recommend MPEG-4 with the H.264 codec. Um, yeah, I can't do that in Virtual Dub, sadly. You can probably uh, change the video type like after the fact but I don't know uh, I just do AVI's YouTube will accept it but it takes longer to convert longer to upload stuff like that I tried an MPEG-4 clip and uh, it ran super fast um, so yeah I haven't found a solution though to making my uh, clips MPEG-4 uh, I tried virtual dub it obviously doesn't have an option, um, unless there's one that I don't know of, uh, maybe a plugin of some sort. I've also tried AVI DMOOX, which does do MPEG-4, but see this video right here? It's not as crisp um, in AVI DMOOX. It gets blended, the pixels. Um, it's not too bad, so I could live with that, but the problem is the color completely changes. It gets darker, a little oversaturated, uh, the contrast isn't there, brightness is darker, and I could mess with the levels, but I can never get back to the quality that Virtual Dub seems to give. So it kind of sucks that I have to upload AVIs, but it gives better quality in the end, I feel. So yeah, um, Vegas takes forever to, um, Sony Vegas does do mp4s but uh mpeg4 but it doesn't do it fast enough and i can't assign job control so i'm kind of stuck yeah like it takes forever i don't i just it doesn't suit my needs well enough um but it uploads very quickly to youtube that's the one advantage and the quality is great so far i haven't found a good idea of um how to optimize the uploads so this is the best solution I have if you guys have a better solution or tips or want me to try something I'm willing to give it a shot but this is the best solution that I have and so I thought I'd share it with you guys it's kind of like the biggest question I get is hey I'm trying to do my own LPs or videos like how do you what's your setup and I thought I'd share mine because hopefully it'll improve the quality of what you thought is possible. You don't have to rely on, say, Windows Movie Maker or something like that, which really restricts your um, abilities. So that's as far as um, that goes. Uh, someone asked me, why do I have so many hard drives? Um, I have one big 500 gig hard drive, 5600 RPMs. Um, yeah. I have it partitioned into my system drive, 60 gigs, and my, uh, what is it, my, like, rest, games, applications, whatever. Um, that's the second partition, which is everything else. And that way, if anything goes wrong with my Windows installation, I can uh, reinstall it on that, that partition, and it doesn't affect my games um, at all, except for maybe save files, but I can back those up which is kinda nice. Um, then I have a video drive which is a Raptor hard drive. I think it's like uh, 100 gigs, 120. Um, but that's 100, no, 10,000 RPMs. Um, it's obviously a lot faster uh, when it spins the hard drive. Uh, it's to record videos faster. So it's I'm not limited by my hard drive when I'm recording video like this it's really just my video card and my CPU which isn't too bad it really improved the quality of my uh, videos when I bought that hard drive it was a significant investment but I don't know it's helped 
um, in the end. So I really recommend if you want to get serious about um, video recording, you might want to look at like a solid state hard drive or a Raptor hard drive. It's going to be a little more expensive, but since you're only going to be putting video files on it, it should be fine. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys have any more questions, I'd love to hear them. I'll maybe do a response video to this, uh, or I'll just put it in something else. And with that, um, thanks for the subscriptions and thanks for watching. I hope you continue and my videos uh, get better. <laughs> uh, I'll see you all later.